All right, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Today, uh, I just got my power up pass a couple days ago. If you watched the video before this, you already know who I used mine on. But I'm just going to go through some of the players that I think are worth using the power up pass on. You got to get to level 70. Uh, I just did that one solo challenge, the burnt turkey. It's the third burnt turkey challenge. You just have to get a uh, touchdown to win the game, and then it, if you have a good team, it'll go pretty fast. And then you get like 220 XP per time. It took me like an hour or so to get from like 62 to 70. But I got my power up pass, and I use mine on Saquon Barkley. Because, I mean, look at his stats. He's got 92 speed, 93 acceleration, 93 agility. Good er, Carrying's not very good, but it's okay. Uh, 89 break tackle. That's a big. That's one of the big things about this card. And obviously, he's one of like four 92 uh, LTDs that we got. So he's at the higher overall that the power up pass is. Uh, Devin McCourty is another one that you could use, but I don't recommend using one on Devin McCourty because look at this. Okay, so we're going to go to compare. And then you can go to Kendall Fuller. This is who I'm using as my safety, and he's a beast. They're the same speed. Fuller is stronger. He has three more change of direction, which is huge on defense. Um, awareness, a little worse. A little worse catching. Catching doesn't really matter. If you have an open interception, they're pretty much going to catch it. Uh, a little bit worse stamina. Jumping, not as much. Injury doesn't matter. Um, offense, no one cares about that. But he has better tackling, worse hit power. Hit power doesn't matter. No one cares about finesse move and block shed, really, with secondary people. He has plus three man coverage, which is huge. And if you run a defense like how I do, I run a dime. So that's one linebacker. So a safety usually has to come up and cover somebody whenever they have a lot of receivers on the field. So my free safeties, I like to have safeties that can man cover just so they can come up and pick somebody up. And Fuller can do that, and so can Ed Reed. So that's that. Uh, zone coverage, it's worse by four. The only thing that you'd get from McCourty is that 99 zone if you really wanted it. And he has better press. So Fuller, and, and he's still a 91 overall. If he completes both of his um, objectives on Thanksgiving, he's going to shoot up to a 93, power him up to a 94. I'm pretty sure mine's a 94 overall right now. I powered him up. Um, and then the chemistries that I have got him up to a 94, so he's a beast. We're going to go back. Hopefully it saved my list. Okay, it did. And then, obviously, price is a factor, too, because you're trying to save the most coins you can with the power-up pass. Barkley's 710k. McCourty's 469. And then DeAndre Hopkins is another one that normally wouldn't have been on this list, but he is now because of his recent upgrade. So we can look at his stats. Uh, we got 90 speed, 94 jumping. 90 catching, 92 catching traffic, 91 spec catch, and he doesn't hit any thresholds for route running. But, I mean, if you power him up, he'll hit the short. But I'm going to go in and show you guys. I don't have my controller plugged in, so I'm just going to have to use my mouse. But, come on, no one cares about my auctions. Uh, let's go to team, item binder. So I have mine powered up. Uh, he got the plus one team of the week. And I'm going to show you his attributes. We got 93 speed, 98 jumping, 96 catching, 94 catching traffic, medium and short route running. And then once he gets one more upgrade, he's going to have that 90 deep route running. So that's huge too. So Hopkins is a sleeper for that power up pass. A lot of people are forgetting about. You could just have Ben Roethlisberger. I mean, I don't think that's worth it. He's not even, I don't think he's that crazy good of a quarterback. He just gets power out master. Uh, you could just have Darren Waller. Because of his route running. But if you don't care about route running, you want speed, go use it on Vernon Davis. Uh, Marlon Humphrey, if you need a corner that bad, you could use it on Humphrey's a beast man corner, 93 man. Wish he was a little faster, but stay away from Junior Seahouse. Diggs is pretty good. He has a redux, but it's still really expensive, so you could go Diggs. He's one of the best receivers in the game at 91 speed, and he should be getting an upgrade soon. I'd assume, because he didn't, he got the, yeah, week six, so it's been like four or five weeks since he's had an upgrade, uh, he has the most receiving yards in the NFL right now, number one fantasy receiver, so he'll be getting an upgrade soon, Orlando Pace, I have him on my team, Orlando Pace is a beast, I have him powered up, he has like 98 uh, pass blocking, I think, something crazy like that, so use it on him, and also, it's like, for me, I'd probably go, like, if you're trying to save, like, for my team, I use Barkley because I was using a non optional tradable Mostert as my running back. So I'm just trying to get a running back upgrade that's going to last a while for me. And Barkley's probably one of the best running backs in the game. The only one comparable, I'd say, is like. You can say like Edrin James, I think. Unless he. Isn't he like a 92 or 93? 
uh, Barry, and then Jim Brown's not really comparable to him, even though they're same overall. So, Ramchek, if you need a right tackle, go get him. Mawai, I don't, I don't recommend using it on Mawai. Uh, he's he gets planted every game. I have him on my team, powered up with Kems, and he gets planted every time he plays a good um, defensive tackle. Khalil Mack, you got a Redux, Vita Vea. I mean, there's not really no reason for that. Chad John, these are like John Lynch. So it's mainly those people I already went over. I mean, maybe if you want to use it on Julio, you can. You could combine your power-up passes, just pick up the Julio, use your 86 power-up pass, um, 89 and the 92, and you can get a free high overall Julio Jones. I mean, like Humphrey still has an expensive Redux. So does Waller, but I don't know. I feel I I would probably go with Vernon Davis over Waller. I have Antonio Gates right now. You could like if it, like I said earlier. I don't know why anyone would use it on Ben. You could use it on Josh Allen. Like this Josh Allen's a beast. You could use it on Dante Culpepper, um, Hutch, Aaron Donald. The Aaron Donald and DRC are actually good cards too. I have I have DRC on my team. I don't have Hutch. Vernon Davis, 88 speed at tight end. If you power him up, 89. Put Sprinter on him. Gets him over 90 speed at tight end. I'm um, John Hanna. There's a bunch of 90, 92 solid. Um, what's it called? Lineman. Walter Jones. Yeah. So now we're getting into the bums. These are the bums that you don't want to use it on. There's no need for Micah Hyde anymore since he got his Redux. His price is down, and Devin McCourty's better than him in every aspect. So. I feel like you guys should stay away from Devin McCourty. Invest in Kendall Fuller, mainly Barkley, uh, D Hop. I I have both of them on my team. I pulled the LTD D Hop, so I still have him. Really happy I didn't sell him since he got that upgrade. Uh, you could go Diggs, Pace, um, Waller slash Vernon Davis, Chandler Jones. I'd stay away from him. Cooper Cup. That's a pointless LTD. I don't know why they did that. Ram check's a good option, and so is Pace. So those are my top picks for it. So let me know who you guys use yours on, uh, if I miss anybody. I don't think I did, um, unless Mudhead's just failing me with showing. But my top ones that I'd use it on are already on my team. I only had to use it on Barkley, which is my plan in the first place. I was going to use it on McCordy, And then when this promo happened, they came out with uh, Kendall Fuller. And he still has the potential to get his overall up two points, and he's still better than McCourty for the way I run my defense. Um, I don't think you really need a 99 zone cover safety right now. I think having a like hybrid, like how Kendall Fuller is, is the best. But if you want to use it on McCourty, use it on McCourty. He's a beast. So, But that's going to finish the video. I just wanted to go through some options for you guys if you didn't really feel like doing it yourself. So I feel like... A lot of YouTubers drop theirs like super early, like they'll, they'll drop like 92 power up pass like super early in the series without new cards coming out. Like you could use it on all of these, um, like these these cards that came out are like better than the other options for when all the other YouTubers made it. So I just wanted to make an updated one. Um, oh, another one you could use it on is the Terry McLaurin, because he's a beast. Look at these stats. And I'm pretty sure he's pretty expensive, like 95 speed. Look at his short, medium. He hits every threshold of route running. And he had 95 catching. He's not going to drop any passes. So I knew I was forgetting someone. It was Terry McLaurin. Kill him why. Like, look at his stats. Look at the... He's 94 pass blocking, and he still gets planted. He gets ran over by every defensive tackle. Every Leroy Glover that I face, he just destroys him. But now that's it for my... um my power up pass video so just want to go through the options i think are the best let me know who you guys picked drop a like on it if you enjoyed comment down below and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in all the videos i'll be posting tomorrow i might post one later tonight uh no nah, i probably won't because it's only going to be 350 players and they already released the part two of the autumn blast so uh kind of sad we didn't get an ltd but got a lot of videos coming tomorrow so i'll see you guys then